That is crazy. What? Look at him! What? That's majestic as hell though, that is, that's amazing. This isn't a built-in feature. How many games have you played that have like actual ragdoll systems? Like for me personally, you know, like I used to play Roblox a lot when I was younger. So like Broken Bones comes to mind. Uh, a couple of those like <laughs> roleplay simulator games sometimes had ragdolling, but like that's about it. Like when you really think about it, not many games actually have ragdolls in them. And so when you think about that, you also realize that, wait a second, I actually don't know all that much about how ragdolls even work, right? I mean, if they're so rare, that must mean that Roblox makes it hard to actually implement them and you would be right okay like this bro <laughs> look at that <laughs> this actually does require like some advanced scripting knowledge to pull off and the moment i found that out i just realized like how many things do we not know about ragdolls and you know just like what experiments can we make right because like i don't know bro look at this <laughs> Okay, that, uh... Now, just before we start, like, cruelly experimenting on the ragdoll, I need to really quickly show you the actual code that goes behind making a ragdoll, right? Because, like, I know I just said, like, oh, yeah, it's not a built-in feature, you know, you need, like, some advanced scripting knowledge, but I just want to drive that point home to make the experiments that I'm going to show you feel a lot more, like, rare and actually important. Because here's everything that goes into this, right? We have, uh, three remote events, we have two scripts, one of them being a module script, and also we have, like, yeah, two more local scripts. Because, I don't know, I thought that, you know, the way to ragdoll before was just like you say like oh yeah you get the you know you get the character of the player and you just say like ragdoll or something like i thought this was the way to do it but this doesn't work okay i mean okay character isn't a real thing right now but like you know what i mean this wouldn't work even if we had the character because what you actually need is like okay so this fixes the camera locally so whenever the ragdoll you know happens or you know stops happening it fixes the camera then you need to update the humanoids on the clients this ragdoll module script which effectively does a bunch of these things look at that ball socket constraint it goes through everything in the character and then it basically just says okay we have these attachments we have you know these c-frames you know all of the every ball socket constraint has this you know applied to them does a bunch of this stuff you know there's a bunch of this a bunch of this a bunch of this and so that's why a lot of games just don't see ragdolls right ragdolls are insanely fun and honestly like i i hope that every single game from now on, like the moment that I upload this video and the moment it reaches like a million views, right? As it obviously will. I want every single game to have ragdolls because bro, why would you not want your game to have this? All right, so let's start with the first experiment, which is how susceptible are ragdolls to explosions? You know what an explosion is, right? Boom, there we go. What if I just take an explosion and every like 0.1 seconds, I just spawn a new explosion on top of our player because i can do exactly that i can just say while you know task dot wait then we'll get my character by saying you know local car is equal to player dot character or if the player character doesn't exist yet meaning you know it hasn't loaded in yet then we're gonna wait for the player character to be added and yeah and then we just say you know instance dot new explosion and then we're just gonna set the position of this equal to character dot humanoid root part dot position and so now if i play the game right let's see what happens Okay, small mistake, I forgot to actually parent it inside of the workspace, because if the explosion is not inside of the workspace in some capacity, we're not going to see it, okay? But in this case, I think, there we go, yep, look at that. Okay, so I completely forgot that explosions actually completely kill your character, so what I'm going to do is I'll just say local ex explosion, right, XP for explosion. And what I'll basically do, right, is I'm not going to set it to the workspace yet, I'm going to say explosion uh, dot destroy joints radius percent equal to zero. And so then we set the position, we set the parent, and now... Hopefully that's going to work. Let's see. There we go. Okay, look at that. Yeah, so it's not destroying the joints, but, you know. And so now it's time for the final test. Let's, uh, because right now I can move, right? And so, you know, the explosion is trying to follow me around. But the thing is, imagine if I just can't move, right? <laughs> like, legit. See, right now it's, it's like start trying to push me, right? It can't, like, unless I jump, sure, then it can push me up. Okay, look, we're on the staircase. We're on the staircase. Okay, okay, ready, ready, ready. Three, two, one, ragdoll. That's crazy. Okay, so it's just going to push me off the map then, I assume? What? 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 I don't even know what just happened. I mean, he's chilling. He's cool. Look at the explosion down there. That's terrifying. Okay, ready? Hold on, ready? Ready? Ragdoll now. Ragdoll now. Yes. That is beautiful. Look at that. Such a majestic fall. Yeah, and so the moment I ragdoll, it does this while I'm falling. So, uh... That's a, <laughs> that's a little <laughs> gameplay, po oh, what's going on? Yeah, so I don't know if this is the fault of the ragdoll or the explosion, but something's going wrong. Okay, so the next thing I want to try out also has something to do with the character humanoid root part. And I'm thinking we can actually make a variable for it, right? So local roots is equal to character humanoid root part. But instead of summoning explosions and like, you know, going through that whole mess again, what if we just exponentially increase the vertical position of my character, right? So every 0.1 seconds, let's say, 
he's going to move up one stud. Then he's going to move up two studs. Then he's going to move up four studs. Then eight, then 16, then 32, then, you know, 64, and etc., etc. Basically, I want the character to exponentially begin rapidly moving at, like, really fast speeds. So I want to see what that does to the ragdoll. So to actually ensure that I'm able to move my character, let's just say root.position plus equals uh, vector3.new and then let's say 0, 10, 0. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> that seems to be working. But that's not exponential though, is it? Right, we want it to be like actually exponential. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a variable, right? So local um, movements is equal to 0 0.01, okay? And so what I'll do is I'll set uh, the vector3.new equal to movement, okay? So it's going to increase the vertical position by whatever this number is, which is just 0 0.01. But then what we're going to do is we'll say movements times equals 2. So we're going to multiply movements by 2, which basically is going to cause and you know exponential movement so let's try this okay that is actually crazy okay ragdoll and it just completely killed my character okay let's like multiply by 1.1 instead because that was what was that bro let's try that okay what if i set it to ragdoll right now <laughs> 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 oh man that's crazy yeah he's not having a good time is he and if i ragdoll that's crazy yeah yeah so once again gameplay is paused that's and it only happens when i actually ragdoll which is the fun bit right so when i'm not ragdolling he's fine the moment i ragdoll gameplay pause that's really interesting i'm actually not too sure why it only pauses when i ragdoll because the thing is i assume it pauses when it needs to load something in so maybe it like needs to load in the like the stretching of my character or something this is leaving me with a lot more questions than answers the next experiment is basically what happens if we stop time while the ragdoll is active right so i know that might not make a lot of sense like what do you mean stop time right basically how about this okay Every, let's say, five seconds, we're going to toggle the anchored property of everything that's inside the character. Okay, so we're going to loop through, you know, our character, get children. And so here we're basically looping through something inside the character, with V being that item we're looping through, right? And so we're checking if this item is a part, right? Then we can just say V dot anchored is equal to not v dot anchored meaning that the moment we spawn in the game it's going to wait five seconds then it should set all of my parts to be anchored meaning they cannot move okay they're not affected by physics and then five seconds after that is going to make them not anchored again which is going to give them back you know their movement so i actually want to see if this works okay so let me, let me let me just jump up right now and so after five seconds there we go that wasn't my game crashing everything's still fine my character is just spawn frozen in time okay Let's try this now, okay? Let me let me see if I can time this right. Okay, maybe I didn't time it quite right. Yeah, he's having a bit of difficulties moving. I think I think we crashed the ragdoll module. Okay, let's do this, okay? How about we do a task dot wait one second, right? And then we're just gonna print uh toggling okay so basically every five seconds it's gonna print toggling which is gonna give us a one second time window to be like, okay, now we have to do something. Toggling, there we go, okay, beautiful. Okay, ready? Let's try this out. Let's try this out, ready? <laughs> <laughs> and last thing real quick what if we ragdoll the character while he's in stopped time okay that just immediately gives us an error but then when it's gonna untoggle that is crazy bro what <laughs> oh man i'm having too much fun with this okay he's flying back he's flying back and he's going back up. Okay, so I guess this is just a thing that ragdolls do. All right, so this next one is interesting because we're going to be testing the ragdoll on low frame rate. You may have noticed that my character has changed, okay? And let me show you something really cool. When I start moving this character, look at that. He's moving in a low frame rate. Because I just got done recording a video where I basically just, like, explain how I did this. Like, how I made it so that my character is, like, moving in, like, you know, 15 frames per second or however much this is. So I'm not going to explain, like, how I coded this because that's going to be in a future video. So, you know, subscribe if you want to go see that. So let's move it to the top of the staircase. And ready? Three, two, one, rectal. It's truly amazing the, like, the infinite amount of stuff you could do with ragdolls. Like, genuinely, bro. Look at this. But yeah, I did not expect it to look that cool in low frame rate, but it, it is nice. I don't know. It just it just tickles my brain in some way. Okay, so this next experiment, I don't think it would be quite as cool as like the low frame rate ragdoll, but this is still really interesting. But basically, it's just I'm going to put my character inside of this box, right? So we have, you know, these like slightly invisible walls. And then we have this top part, which I basically scripted that like in 30 seconds, it's going to move from this position to this position. So in 30 seconds, it's going to basically very slowly descend down and you know hopefully you understand exactly what this machine is for so the first thing i want to try out is what if we don't ragdoll what's going to happen right what if i just 
hands off keyboard. Okay. Okay. Well, that's a. Uh... That's good to know. I assume he's going to be spit out. Yep. Okay, there we go. All right, so I don't have too, like, high hopes for the ragdoll, but, you know, let's just see. Maybe it's going to do another gameplay paused thing. <laughs> okay. What's going to happen? Let me try this again, though, because I'm sure there's something we're missing, right? What, what if he's, like, directly in the middle? How's that going to look like? Okay, okay. Yeah, it just spits him out. Okay. All right, so the final and the most exciting experiment, which we've all been waiting for. What is my character going to look like in water? Right, this is a very, very, like, legit and real thing that all of you came here for. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I was just gonna, you know, summon him in the water and just, you know, let him ragdoll. What if I just summon him, like, I don't know, like, a thousand studs above the water and just have him fall in the water? What's gonna happen? Let's test him in the water first, okay? What's gonna happen if I just ragdoll? Okay, well, he, uh, he's not having the best time right now. Okay, but let's spawn him, like, right here, okay? How is that gonna look? He missed the water completely, that's crazy. Okay, let's try now. Okay, okay, ready, 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 ready? Ragdoll. Okay, wait, third, third time's the charm, and ragdoll. That's, okay, I don't, that's majestic as hell, though, that is, that's amazing. Yes, hopefully you learned something new about ragdolls, I mean, a, a lot of the stuff was crazy. Comment down below, like, which experiment you found the most interesting, because to me, honestly, it was, like, the exponential movement up. I did not expect him to start, like, stretching out, I mean, that's probably because of my, like, accessory, like, you know, I have, like, this, like, Chad bodysuit, so if you don't have that, he's probably gonna be fine, but, like, I don't know, that's just something that I found really interesting. So, yeah, like I said, subscribe if you want to see more, uh, you know, content, especially, like, you know, the low frame rate one, which I'm gonna post soon. I will just quickly plug my course as well, so if you aren't a beginner developer or, you know, looking to develop, then the video is basically over for you, but if you are someone who does want to script, I have a course, a couple of the classes are actually free, like, you know, no strings attached, you can just click on the link in the description, and then I think there's, like, at least, like, 10 videos that you can go and watch for free so you know if this video sparked something in you and you're like damn i really want to you know learn how to code then like i said you can click on the link in the description you know preview the course no strings attached and then decide whether you actually want to buy it or not and yeah bro as a finale okay as a finale let me just try something can i scale up my character let me let me let me try this okay what if i do this okay 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 wait this has promise this has promise this has promise ready 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 This is like the best advertisement for my course.